uh, make sure you do tweet out the stream um, try and get as many viewers as possible and if we do get up to 50 viewers on the stream today uh, myself and Ben have confirmed that we will sing I am sexy and I know it live for you guys on the stream yeah but <laughs> so um, 50 viewers is the target uh, if we're struggling with that we might make it a little bit lower maybe um, it's possible maybe. Oh, um, once again, Neo's been a fool and has picked the wrong team, so this game is going to be ended once again. Third time lucky, I guess you could say, but yeah, 50 viewers, I'm sexy and I know it. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I'm actually dancing in my room as I sing that to you, but yeah. Um, and of course, guys, don't forget to uh, follow the Twitter of Desire and their fun cups. It is at DesireLan, that is D-Z-I-R-E-L-A-N, and... Um, they will be tweeting out um, all of the updates to come with the Desire organization. Any Fun Cups that will be happening, uh, all your information for the Fun Cups will be available via that Twitter. So make sure you follow that Twitter. Um, give that a retweet out. Make sure your friends know about it. It is a very, very well-run cup. Um, and as you can see, you've got a chance to get yourself on stream and get commentated <laughs> by some fairly average people like myself and Ben Bo. <laughs> yep, pretty much not the one. <laughs> but anyway, yes, hopefully this will be third time lucky and we'll try and get on board with three that as I say it's gonna be vital that they win this first round. I'm pretty sure they are gonna be on which side are they gonna be on? No one's spawning in yet. You can see the relentless they are gonna be on Spetsnaz. So we'll get on board with Spetsnaz and they are gonna be on D straight away. And Akra's pulled out a sniper. You can see him try and get the pre fiber go! George drops him cross map with the ACR. Akra is gonna be very annoyed indeed. He had him down his sight but couldn't make that kill. So Akra is not gonna be happy with that at all. So we'll default. He should have had the advantage there really with the sniper. He had enough Definitely. time to get him in his scopes. But George with some amazing shooting. Put his laser beam straight on his head. And that was good night, Acro. Um, as John does take down James, but Bay answers back and takes down Neo. So it's going to be uh, three against two at the moment in the advantage for rated boys. As John does spot one going to the A-bomb there. He hasn't got any stuns and nades left, so he needs to have called that out to his teammates. And he has done. he's called that out to Jen. Jen does take some shots from the back of that white truck there. So they know where the bomb is. They've got them contained at the moment. They need to make sure no one rushes through that mid-terminal building. Um, and, ooh, bomb does go down at A as well. And you're going to see John looks like he's going to try and flank as Jen picks up a nice nade. And John is going to run into one right in front of him. He's like, hello, rated. You have just been dropped. So it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be John versus Obey. And John's going to see him gets a few shots off. Can he jump the corner and take him down? Going to go upstairs. Oh, John is going to chase it. Risky play. And roll. Oh, he's not dead. How is he not dead? Absolutely no idea if John gets taken down now. <gasps> oh, my days. I have never witnessed anything as random as that. That was absolutely unreal. Obey, you are a huge fatty nom 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 with bullets. That is all I'm going to say on that. I would be slightly mad. I think the word is... <laughs> I would, if I was John there, I would be screaming um, some obscenities towards Obey. I, I think I think that's fair. The walk, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think he's got to throw out. <laughs> I definitely would if that happened to me. Crazy. But we are going to stay on board with Freelit as we're going to stick to our rule of two rounds um, on each team. So we're going to see Neo now pushing down to this A-side very aggressively. Jen has pushed all the way around the back. I don't know if we can switch to him. He's all the way around the back with this MP7 suppressed, using extreme conditioning, trying to get round and help them secure that A-bomb. He's going to try and pick off anyone in that back archway as James does take down Neo this is very aggressive play here by Jen he's got to be aware that they're going to be in party chat so oh, any kill that he does make John takes down George and Jen does take down a bay and so how's him in the corner oh Jen oh he should have had that kill he is going to get for the stun there as he runs up the stairs going to get that semtex that should next. be the kill there we go That's he fine, does okay. get taken down by rated though who's last alive in a 1v2 situation the bomb is going down so he's going to have a lot of work to do here to pick up the two kills and get the diffuse they should know where he is because they should have been called out by his teammate uh, he was around that back green area he does chuck a stun through that mid arch and it looks like john doesn't really know where to shoot at the moment he does spot him in that back arch he's gonna and he does yeah, pick up the kill play. great play by john so that's going to be one all now um Interesting. Backwards and forwards here. I did like the push there by Jenny. He managed to pick up two kills before he went down. Um, yeah, it was good. It was a really good push. It seemed to work. Not many people like pushing around to B, and not many people expect it, because it is an A-bomb dominated map. Uh, but we do need to switch side and uh, see how rated boys are getting on. 
the problem three lit have got right now is they have two players both on a donut, and that's going to be Neo and Acro. So this round, both Neo and Acro pressure will be on both of those players. They are going to need to see if they can pick off at least one kill. Obviously, you don't want to be damaging your teammates there. Acro does take down James, so well played there to Acro. And Wraith is going to take down Acro straight away, though, as a response. But I'm on board with George with this bomb. And uh, he has got a few hit markers off on this A bomb. Looks like he's just going to be very aggressive, but he has got the bomb, so I'm not too sure if this play is very smart. Does come into contact with one player, jumps and takes him down. Well played there by George. Very risky, I just, though. I just want to point out something. They're rated, pushed all the way around the back, done exactly the same push as Jen did, although he alternated it a little bit by going through mid-terminal, then towards B. He just got a car bomb kill on somebody <laughs> that was on that top green platform. So on that top green walkway, he managed to get a car bomb kill somehow. I don't know yes. how that works. I'm Is not it... sure that there are any cars on that section of the map. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's a little oxygen tank um, where you can get your stun off. Because that's killed me a fair few times, and it is the most infuriating thing the world has ever seen. But it comes up as a car. They really need to change their animation. It's just lazy Call of Duty more than anything else. But, yeah, that has caught me a few times. So I will be honest, I have also fallen to that death trap that is the car bomb. Slash up oxygen tank. <laughs> the aggressive push did work there for Raiders boys. They did manage to take that, that round down. Um, and the aggression is coming again from James. Obey is on this left-hand side, making sure no one pushes all the way around. James is pushing, and he does get that nade off. He, that nade connects. It should be a huge kill, but it doesn't. Oh, yes, it just gets hit markers. He did see two people there, though, so he would have called them out to his teammates. He knows that they're going to be pushing that bomb. Um, they are... Three against four at the moment, so they're not too, too much of a disadvantage. And just as I say, that Neo takes down James. And George has just seen two cross, and that's going to be the third. Gets a few hit markers. He's going to have to fire and retreat and reload. One minute 44 left on the clock. And the race support by the ballet. Oh. It just gets taken down. <laughs> He's going to be left last up now in a one versus three scenario. And Bomb is surely going to be replanted at A now. I'd be very amazed if it wasn't. They've got George pretty much pinned in as he tries to rotate. Bomb does go down, and there is Jen taking down George. Well played there to Jen. I'm still waiting for a clutch in this cup so far tonight. Um, I haven't seen one yet. I did see um, in the previous cup on Saturday, um, Southern Ferry's sweet man. He picked up a lovely 1v3 on this map. But yet to see a big clutch on this uh, on the S&D in this cup yet. Um, I would say it could come from uh, this semi-final. They've got the players that have got the ability to do it. Uh, needing to switch teams anyway. We've got to get back over to Freelit. Um, and I'll just check and see if Acro had the uh, sniper rifle out. And he's uh, quite well with that sniper rifle. As he does take down James early on. Stops the aggressive push. Um, but we're going to have... Neo takes down George as well. So it's four against two now. Yeah, so question is, where is the bomb most likely going to go? As Jen takes down Rated as well, so it is going to be four on one. Obey to do a 1v4 clutch would be great if he could do it, but I'm going to be a little bit more pessimistic as it just seems three that are set up very, very well. They have numbers at A and shots are being fired from Neo, so we'll get on board with him. He's also very red indeed. Uh, it looks maybe like Obey has just flanked all the way back into his spawn, but you're going to see Neo just checking that stairwell. Doesn't want to give away an easy kill which will obviously give Obey some confidence going into this 1v4 clutch. And um, Bomb is down as well, so Neo sat right in front of the Bomb. So if Obey is going to have any chance, he is going to have to come into contact. And he does take down Jen there. So it, ooh, so he's sort of trying to make his way. One versus three right now. I am quite tempted to change team. I don't know about you, just to see. I, if, I am indeed yeah. just going to switch teams. He's back yeah. up in his spawn. Um, I think there was a free lit player around there, so... He needs to be careful. There was one mid-terminal as well, so he's looking in all the right places. It's just a matter of where he can pick up these final kills. Mm, time is of the essence, though. One minute five left on the clock. Obviously, there is a three-lit player right behind him as well. I was going to say there's a three-lit player right on the bomb, but there was also Acro who pushed back into the spawn and takes him down. But we need to change team again, though. No, yes, we do. We need to change team and get back on board with three-lit and give them their attacking round as well. But three that looking in a strong stead to take this map. Yeah, definitely. They look like they've come out firing after that CTF. Um, they obviously weren't happy with their performance, so they've tried to push the uh, S and D as the Acro goes for them early shots again and doesn't. And I've just spawned. Oh, in. picks up a few hit markers. <laughs> you spawned in. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Desperate to play. I understand. I, I always get that feeling as well. But Acro <laughs> connected with a few hit markers. Didn't actually get a kill as Obey did get dropped very early on, so it is four on three in three lit's favour right now. 
And Acro, with the bomb being a little bit more defensive, they have set up for an A plant. But Acro's just going to check the back as Jen takes down Rated. So already it's a four on two situation. And three that looking really good stay as Neo takes down James. So it's going to be George in a one versus four. And should we, oh, I was going to say just should we change team, but no need as Jen is going to take down George and three that are going to take this map. So it's going to be one one in this semi final. Yeah, very good play there by Freelip. They needed to come back after that CTF, and um, they done it with a quite convincing, quite convincing way there. Mm, definitely, uh, it's going to be interesting. The next map is going to be CTF on. You're going to have to refresh my memory. It is CTF lockdown, I believe. I'll double check oh, that. It is indeed oh. CTF lockdown. Oh god, so. it's going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. It'll be interesting to see if um, they can implement that spawn trap on the bad side, which I was talking about earlier on. See if any of the teams actually know about that, because it is just so lethal. Any spawn traps that are available on lockdown are quite lethal. Um, they can be quite detrimental to a team's uh, pursuit. We have got quite a few spectators in this game. It'd be quite good to yeah. get a few of them kicked. Uh, <laughs> it isn't going to be helping the connection at all. Um, it's going to be working against Freelit, if anything. I do believe they are off host, so it's not going to be helping them here. True, true, true. But which team do you want to go first? We go to... uh, it's got to be Delta. I hate uh, commentating on the Spetsnaz size because it is quite boring. Yeah, um, especially if there's a stalemate. They, they, two teams do tend to make it very boring indeed. <laughs> but I'm on board with Acro, who's gone for an interesting push straight off the bat. He's going to go through Church. And let's see if we can pick up another kill as James takes down Jen. But Acro looks like, oh, he is going to get find a kill there. He should take this down as Jules has absolutely no idea he was there. And Acro could go for an early pull towards Mannequins right now. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He has got support in the form of Neo. And can we it looking good? Instead, obviously, they do need to get someone to return their flag as it was momentarily pulled. But Acro's managed to go all on challenge. James is near that flag, though. So Acro knows this. He's going to try and get that done and does get shot from behind so Rated no idea where he came from but Neo is going to take down that kill I think uh, Rated was always around their flag there, Neo kept uh, hard aiming towards that bottom snake um, the bottom tunnel and uh, couldn't actually find anyone that was there, when James came out into fire, I think they thought they'd got the kill on the person that was back flag but Rated was still there and he clutched the flag so great play there by Rated as um, it's going to be a flag pulled by either team as Acro chokes the knife there on oh, the carrier, yes, George oh. does turn on him. Um, so amazing play there by George to make sure that his flag is secure. As Rated gets taken down by F Jen. Jen takes down a Bayer as well, but then gets taken down by George. So George, the flag carrier, putting in work here to make sure his team don't concede this flag. They need to try and keep hold of this for as long as they can. Um, the stalemate for them on that bad side isn't a terrible thing. I don't think they'll settle for it. I think they'll want to capture a couple of flags on this side, especially after their performance on Arcaden. Um, but I think they'll be more than happy to hold this stalemate. As a bay does take down Acro, um, you're going to have Jen and Neo pushing this flag. So it's three-man offense as they do take down the flag carrier. Neo takes down James. George takes down Jen. It's kill after kill. Neo takes down Freighted. This is going to be a really aggressive pull by them now. Um, they need to stop getting them off spawn. They're going to be spawning in that church arch oh, on his left. So he just gets dropped as well there. Three left have just dropped that flag, so just be wary of that, but no, no need. Oh, what, sorry, what were you going to say? I... They will be spawning on his left-hand side here in this church arch. So Neo keeps going back into this white building. What he needs to do is when he keeps getting that flag carried down, he needs to push round to this left-hand side. They're going to be spawning there as exactly a bay takes him down and two players they did spawn there exactly. They're going to be spawning on that left hand side. If they don't secure them off spawn, or if they don't have someone pushing the opposite arch as well, then they're never going to get this flag back. As the flag carrier is left one against two, Jaws picks up one of the kills. Can he make the two piece a, a bay in there with the support? But as soon as you do push the flag carrier there and push them off of that church arch, they will start spawning either in bottom art or back on where their flag base should be. When they've done that, the flag carrier is very, very isolated, so you've got a, a high chance of returning the flag. But until they start doing that, as, yep, James does get the return, so they're going to be pushing back towards the flag, and Neo should be able to get this return now. He's just double backing on himself. I think he's going to go and pull the flag here, as Jen is left to do some work on the flag. Um, but this is good. One minute 48 left on the clock as James takes down Neo. That's a big turn. 
that's a big kill and the flag was returned actually so it's nil nil it's one minute 40 left on the